Welcome to LeapFrog BI Academy video training series on dimensional modeling. In this video, we're going to be discussing unknown and inferred members. To get the conversation started, let's quickly talk about early arriving facts and late arriving dimensions. An early arriving fact is simply a fact record which arrives before its related dimension record. We're going to go through that in detail in just a moment, but when this occurs, we first have to decide whether or not we're even going to load that fact. We could decide to not load it, possibly queue it to be reprocessed at some later time when the dimension record is in place. But if we do decide to load it, we now have a foreign key that needs to have a value. And that value is going to be either an unknown or an inferred member. So let's take a closer look here. Whenever we have a foreign key lookup, just as a review, our data source here being the top table with the 432 customer ID, we're going to try to bounce that off of our customer dimension to look up the surrogate value, 25 in this case, so that we can place it in our fact table. This is a successful uh, foreign key lookup. Now when we have an early arriving fact, such as here where we have customer ID 521, but there is not a 521 customer ID in our dimension. So we don't have a surrogate key to place in our fact table yet. What are we going to do in this case? Well, one option is we could create or utilize an unknown member. And it would look like this. Again, record 521 is our customer ID. We don't have 521 yet in our dimension, so we're just going to simply place a negative 1 as the value for our foreign key customer in our fact table. And we can also take that customer dimension and create an unknown member record in there as well, just to provide some context to the business uh, whenever this lookup occurs at query time. So the second option is to create an inferred member. Again, same situation, we have customer ID 521 that doesn't exist in our customer dimension. So what are we going to do with our foreign key value in our fact table? Well, this time we're going to create a new record in the customer dimension. Here we have a record where we've placed the natural key 521 in the customer ID field, which enables us to create a surrogate 27. So we're going to place that value in our fact table. Now you notice also we added a field to our customer dimension called inferred. This is just so we can place a bit flag here to identify this record as being inferred. Later on, whenever this dimension gets updated and the source system actually provides the values for the attributes, such as name here, we'll update this record market is not being inferred and our fact is now able to relate to a dimension record which has all the attributes values available. So there you go that's uh, inferred and unknown members. Thank you for joining me in this video. Look forward to seeing you in future videos.